This is our RJ4 utility termination. Today we're going to go over some of the product features and overviews. So let's start here with the utility cap. So you've got two hose clamps that hold this on to your line sets, your electrical lines, your control wires, whatever you'd like to be running through the roof. So once you've loosened your two hose clamps, spin it around, free them from the flexible jacket, and then just start pulling your seam apart. Jacket comes right apart. You're gonna notice a set of draft stopping here. A little ways back, about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch from the outlet of the flexible utility jacket. This is your first set of draft stopping to prevent water, critter, and air infiltration back into the penetration in the roof. Once you've gotten to this point, you're gonna start removing the screws from the side. Five on each side, 10 screws total. Now that we've taken off those 10 screws, the two hose clamps, you have unbridled access to the vertical section of our pipe. You'll also see, once you've taken off your shell back, you have a straight shot right down the opening to an unbridled four and a quarter inch opening. Gives you access to run new lines, replace lines that may need to be replaced after a certain period of time, add control wires, Maybe you wanna add a second condenser over here. It allows you to use this termination and this penetration for multiple uses over the lifespan of the roof. One of the convenient features of the RJ4 utility are these guide channels we provide to help you align the shell back to the base that's already been secured to the roof. You can see here, you slide it down and the channels help guide the two pieces together so you get a nice, snug, secure fit every time. When you're putting your jacket back on, we find it best to secure it just below the outlet of the device and start to weave and then just push and pull. Pull the little tabs. Once you get it started, it threads together very easily. These tabs are a little sensitive. If you're a stronger guy, you can rip them off. So be aware of that, but they will take some abuse. It's a good point to remember that once you've closed your seam here, you're gonna wanna spin your cap so that this keyway locks into the channel at the top of the shell back here. What this does is prevent your flexible cap from sliding off, particularly when you have a hose clamp around it, but it's also gonna put this seam at the bottom so that it's not susceptible to driving rain and snow of that sort. Once you've secured your hose clamp here at the top where the flexible cap meets the rigid termination, you're gonna slide this hose clamp back up and be sure to secure it one notch back from the outlet. The biggest reason we recommend doing this is it allows the flexible utility termination to act as a drip edge and allow the water to run down the pipes or the wires that you're running out and drip onto the roof. If this were a fresh installation, you drill a four and a quarter inch hole using a hole saw from the roof. Once your roofer has laid down his roofing material, you're gonna clean up the area of debris using soap and water or, or whatever's convenient, honestly. It just needs to be free of debris. You're gonna open up your roof goose jack utility termination. You're gonna make sure that the gasket is secured and aligned correctly in the base of the device. Once you've done that, you're gonna take these eight inch roof screws that we've provided that have a gasket with washer, and you're gonna take your quarter inch chuck and you're gonna screw them down to the roof with your device aligned over the hole. Once you've secured your screws, this portion of the install is complete for the Roof Goose Jack utility termination. The other benefit and feature to this device is our integral base gasket. This integral base gasket is not a permanent flashing, but it acts as a temporary waterproofing for you to complete your work as a mechanical tradesman and then come back later with a roofer or have the roofer come back at a later date when he's available to flash this permanently. It always needs to be flashed in to the roof these are the features and benefits that make up the RJ4 and RJ6 utility terminations. You'll never find these anywhere else on any other product. You can compare this to other utility terminations on the roof, but it'll always pale in comparison. Thanks for watching and follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook.